top lads welcome back to another video now as i was about to record this i realized that i forgot the saint scarf so yeah a bit of a fail right there but um yeah <laughs> um yeah well we'll do about it today so yeah today as you can tell from the title i'm going to be looking at four players who i think can replace pierre emil hoiberg at southampton after he transferred to tottenham earlier this week i said i was going to do this video I mean, last week's video, I did a similar video where I did future partner Danny Ings up front. And if you want to see more of these, like, if you just start in between the sticks up Forster, Gunn, or McCarthy, or who should be our defensive partnership now that Salasu's come in, should Stevens or Benderet get thrown out, or should we keep them and have Salasu as a backup? If you guys want to see that, remember to leave a like on the video. Um, and hopefully one of those videos will be up next week. Um, if there is comments enabled on this video, which there is sometimes, and sometimes there isn't, um, let me know in the comments what one you want to see next week if they are enabled because I don't know why some of them they are and some of them they're not. They're not meant to be because if you if YouTube texted there's kids in the video, they won't allow comments. And on some of the videos which I've been in on this channel, they've enabled the comments. So I don't know what that's about, but I don't know if they are on this video, I'm going to drop a comment and yeah, um, let's actually get into the video, shall we? I spent one minute and 20 seconds not even talking about what's going on. So Hoiberg. Uh, was the captain until the restart where he was a bit he, he, he obviously wanted to leave and Ralph didn't want him as a captain if he was going to do that so Will Prowse was awarded the captain's armband and then we, basically Hoiberg was a tough tackling aggressive midfielder and we have a little bit of a player like that at the minute in the form of Oriol Romeo who we'll talk about first who has been fantastic since the restart coming in for Hoiberg. Obviously, he was injured after the Arsenal game, I think, and didn't play after that. And Romeo came in, he was fantastic. I um, In my video I did, I think, on my other channel, when I put five players, Samson Giselle, um, Romeo was actually on that. I take that back now. We should definitely keep him. He's not even that old. He's 28, but looking to the future, I think we could get a little bit of a better option and Romero's also a bit of a liability when he's sliding into tackles. And he's somehow never got sent off in his five years as a Phantom player. No idea how he probably should have got sent off that Greenwood tackle. I don't think he should have done a... I don't think he was he was being malicious in that. I think it was accidental. But, yeah, maybe he could have got sent off for that. But he hasn't actually been sent off in his time in England, despite being a yellow card machine. Um, but, um, yeah, Romero's still a very good player. But should he replace Hoiberg? Is he the right player? I'm not so sure. Um, and as I said, he is a little bit of a liability. Don't know what to expect from him. Sometimes he can be very good, like he has since the restart. And sometimes he can just be flying into tackles and just swiping out players, which you don't really want from one of your players. So is Oriol the right option? I don't think so. But um, he would be quite good to have in there as a squad player. Um, as I said, if, like, one of the players that I think should replace Hoiberg gets injured, then he could be good as a backup to have. The next player we're going to talk about is Harrison Reed. Now, some of you probably won't know who this is, but he was a Saints midfielder on loan at Fulham in the Championship last year. Got quite a few games there. Um, looked very decent um, in the team of Scott Parker. Um, he, he, he probably he wasn't a standout. He was like one of the best. He wasn't one of the best players in the Championship, no doubt. Definitely wasn't, but. Still looks like a solid player. Um, is he the right replacement for Hoiberg? Probably not. Um, but um, yeah, he he's impressed at Fulham. But is he quite ready for that Championship step up? I say we loan him out one more year to Fulham. Obviously in the Premier League now. See how he does. And and he's not even that young. He's twenty five now, so approaching his prime. As I said, he might not even get games at Fulham if they loan him back in. So he might buy other midfielders now that they're in the Prem. Um, but Harrison Reed again. He hasn't played too many times for us, I said, on loan at Fulham. I believe he was on loan last year as well. Blackburn, it might have been, I think. Um, don't quote me on that, though. It was something like that. I think he was on loan. He might not have been on loan at all. But, um, again, if we're struggling for options, um, at least we've got him in the squad um, as a replacement for Hoiberg. He could be the replacement. Maybe we can start playing him at the start of the season. Because, obviously, the transfer is still going to be open for the first few games. Uh, we say play him the first two games. If he's not that good, sell him or loan him out. If he's decent, then we'll keep him. Um, so I think that's probably the best solution for Reed because you don't really know what to expect. The Championship to Premier League is a big step up. Um, is he quite ready for the first team in the Premier League? Not so sure, um, but I think there is definitely better options. The third option is going to be a new signing, Weston McKenney. Um, we've been linked to him quite um, a, 
a little bit um, over the past few weeks. Um, and the fans want him. He'll be a very good sign from Schalke. I believe he's the captain over there. And he wants to go to the Prem, well, one, because it's the Premier League, and two, because one of his best mates, Christian Pulisic, is playing in the Premier League. And I doubt he's going to go to Chelsea, but he still wants to go into the Premier League. Um, obviously, the players going to the Bundesliga are Dortmund and Schalke, respectively. Um, apparently, Hertha Berlin are the favourites to get him at the minute. Um, but if he wants to go to the Premier League, then why would he go to another club in Germany, if you know what I mean? Um, and he he's pretty much the same player as Hoiberg. I don't think he's as aggressive, but he's still tough tackling midfielder. Um, and he's only young. I think he's only 22, 23, maybe. Um, I need to check that more, um, after the video. But, yeah, um, he'd be a very good player for the Saints. Um, and Hoiberg will play from all at the end, won't we? But... Um, yeah, obviously, it, yeah, it can take a player a while to adapt in the Premier League. Um, and, yeah, hopefully it won't take McKenney long at all if we do end up signing. He's also been linked with the likes of Newcastle, Everton and Wolves. So, so if imagine, um, of course, Everton were after Hoiberg, then we they'll be kind of revenge because we didn't, he didn't want to go to Everton. So they take a target off us in the form of McKenney. Um, that, that, I wouldn't like that at all from Everton. Um, but, yeah. Uh, McKenny would definitely be a very good signing a replacement for Hoiberg and the final and fourth player is Will Smallbone now the young I think he's only 20 the Irish midfielder has looked quite impressive when he's played he was good against Aston Villa I think when he um, started he was decent against Watford got an assist in that game the 3-1 win at Vicarage Road um, and he has genuinely impressed scoring his 14 debut against Huddersfield in the FA Cup third round um, but is he ready to be starting in and out games, games every week. Um, I'm not so sure. Um, and also we don't we're not I'm not really sure in his position is he a midfielder. He's played on the the right mid sometimes when Armstrong's been injured. Well Armstrong's not really a right mid, he's more of a midfielder. So I'm not one hundred percent sure um what Smallbone is. Is he an attacking midfielder? We don't really play with him. Is he a central midfielder? Is he a right, right mid, a left mid? Not really sure on that. We need to definitely use him more next season though. Um, see what his best position is and figure it out. But I'm not sure he's quite ready to be starting um, every week, or well, not every week, obviously, but starting most games in the Premier League um, at only 20 years of age. Um, he has looked good, but is he quite ready for that massive step up um, from a squad player to a first team starter every week? Um, definitely one for the future, Will Smallbone. Um, definitely one to keep an eye on next season. Um, but like the Hoiberg replacement again I'm not so sure I think he's more of a creative player than the player Hoiberg was sliding into tackles aggressive captain sort of figure I'm not quite sure Stormbone will be the same player and that's what we're kind of looking for um so yeah that's pretty much the four options there's probably um some other signings we've been linked to we haven't been linked to too many Hoiberg replacements it's mainly been Salah and Walker Peters and Hoiberg news um recently but yeah now that those three deals are completed is um we linked more midfielders again the only option i've seen is mckenny really um but yeah the, the player i think should replace hoiberg in fourth place i have will smallbone a player i do rate very highly don't get me wrong i rate him very highly but not quite ready for that premier league step up and again not quite fitting into that mold in third place harrison reed um i said again a bit like smallbone not quite that role but i think he is a bit more of a cdm um, but not quite the captain figure. Second place, Oriol Romeu. Um, again, pretty much the same player as Hoiberg, just a little bit of a liability, a little bit inconsistent. He, he can have the really good performances where he just tackles, 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 doesn't let the opposition get past him. Or he can have the days where he just slides and slides into tackles and is really aggressive and that's not really one. So, my replacement for Hoiberg, my number one replacement, it is Weston McKenney. Um, we I think we'll have to spend out twenty more on him, which is close to a club record fee. But again, I think he'll be worth the investment, especially if we sell players like Vestergaard or Forster or Hoyt or Carrillo. Um, if we sell them, that would be good because then we can get raise funds for um, uh, what's his face, um, Weston McKenney. Forgot his name for a minute, but obviously we spent most of the Hoiberg fee on um Salisu and Walker Peters, so those two deals combined were out 23 million, um, and we got 15 mil from the Hoiberg deal, so I think we should have more than 8 million pounds in the budget anyway, um, so hopefully 
yeah, we should have enough for Weston McKenney, definitely. So, guys, if you did enjoy the video, as I said, if the comments are on, tell me who you think should replace Pierre Mahoyberg in the Southampton team in the comments down below. Um, and I'll be interested to see your thoughts. Um, as I said, leave a comment as well. What would you like if the comments are enabled? Who would you like to see? What video would you like to see next? Who should side between the sticks? Who should be our defensive partnership? Then, when a few days before the season starts, I'll do my full 11 that I think should be starting when all the signings are complete. So if you want to see that, remember to leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next video.